Hello everyone. We are going to discuss about the internet revolution. But before I start, I would like to ask certain questions. Do you know what's 5G? Do you know how is it going to impact or benefit India, the telecom sector, the share market and ultimately your life? Yes, I am going to answer these questions for you in this video. So watch the video till the end. Do not forget to like, share and comment and do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. So the first question is, what is 5G? 5G is nothing but the latest version of mobile broadband. Do you remember the time when a movie had to take overnight to get downloaded? Yes, before we went to bed, we used to put it on download and then when we woke up, we saw that it's downloaded. Even now, it takes around 25 to 30 minutes. Now, imagine that it takes around 3 to 4 seconds to download an entire movie. Oh my God, yes. This is what 5G is going to do for us. And not just this. Along with it, you are going to get low latency calls interoperability of devices that means all your devices all your internet based devices will be able to exchange data more smoothly fluently along with it better AR and VR experience and better gaming experience with VR headsets now the question comes who's going to do all this for us none other than the biggest telecom player Reliance so Reliance, uh, through its wholly owned subsidiary Redesis, has struck a deal with Qualcomm, world's number one mobile chip manufacturing company, to bring 5G in India. And they are going to start testing 5G in India very soon. So what next? It's going to be interoperable and software defined. That means it can be used by other telecom players too. We can understand this with an example. Uh, you have seen a builder, right? Now what does a builder do? Builder builds the flat and then sells it or rents it to us. That is what Reliance is going to do. So Reliance in this case is going to be a builder. Okay. And when the Reliance, when Reliance builds the FG architecture in India, it's going to lend it to other telecom players and those who can afford, of course, sell it. Next comes, how does it impact the telecom sector? The Vodafone crisis, the losses and the deaths are no secret. What Reliance is asking to the Indian government is to eliminate 2G entirely from India. Why? Because for 5G architecture, they are going to need 10 to 15 mhz uh, Z of the bandwidth which will never be available if 2G and 3G still survives. So Reliance wants that 2G and 3G should be out. But Vodafone will obviously not let it happen. Why? Because it's going to be hard for the other telecom sector uh, players to afford the entire thing. This is somewhere or the other indicating towards a monopoly of Reliance. Because those who can afford 5G will be able to operate it. Now, how is it going to affect us? You know that whenever the market turns monopolistic, it affects the consumer a lot because then we are not the price makers, we are the price takers, right? So this is what is expected to happen. But as of now, the government is not eliminating 2G or 3G. Reliance is not declaring the Reliance date the launch date sorry and among all this airtel has struck a new deal with some us based satellite satellite company and vodafone has restructured itself to become vi but still somewhere or the other struggling for survival what we are going to do is we are still waiting for our ache din and let us see what 5g brings for all of us thank you 